design or make four bit logic unit. So we actually call that LU, which is stands for logic unit. Okay. So how it works? So we actually have here we have a table which is actually summarized how it should be work. So we want to design a circuit. So we definitely have to input which is tells the unit what it's supposed to do i call that a to input a01 so definitely because that's to input you could actually make four different bit combination which you see here 00011011 so whenever this is 00 we want to actually the units do the and what it means do the and that means you have one four bit number x and you have one four bit number y it's actually do the x and the y that means bit by bit so the x zero should be and with the y zero x one should be and with the y one and the synapses so if a10 is 01, it's supposed to do the OR. What, is, what it means, the OR means it should be OR X to Y bit by bit. Okay, this is 4 bit, this is 4 bit. Uh, bit number 0 should be OR with this 0 bit 0 in Y, similar with the other bits. So the next, whatever it is, 1, 0, we want to do XOR. So what it means, so XOR means you need to XOR X bit by bit with Y. And the last one, 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 it's take actually not. So just take a lot of the X. So that means give X bar or X prime, okay? So this is actually what we want to have. So if I, summarize in the other side so that means my module should be actually draw here my module should be something like this so i want to design a module okay so i call that four bit logic unit LU. So help me, how many inputs we should have based off this table that you see? How many bits we need as an input for this module? Number of the inputs. The X and Y is two number is that maybe that's better to hear explain. Whenever I say X actually and Y, you could actually consider this. So see X is x3, x2, x1, x0. So the y is y0, it's 4-bit number. y2, y3. So you get actually s, I call s0, s1, s2, and s3, which is s1 is what? X, s, s1 is s0 and the y is 0. What is the S1 is X1? That's bit by bit and, right? So same thing, S2 is X2 dot Y2. Same thing for actually S3 should be X3 dot Y3. Similar things for the other operation. Whenever you have X or X or Y, so that means bit by bit or right. So S0 should be X plus S, X, X0 or same thing for the XO and same thing for not. For not, just you take another of these X, right? So that means S, whenever you have the A0 and 1 is 1, 1, the S0 just should be X0 prime. S1 should be X1 prime. Just 
by mod x. So based off these explanations, so if we, in the general case, we need to say, okay, our unit should uh, have uh, how many inputs based off uh, what we want to do. What is the number of the inputs for this unit? Type it on chat box. Eight, eight is the right answer, yes. Why? Because one, two, three, four, for your x. One, two, three, four, for your y. That's it. You don't need anything else, right? You just give two in numbers for it, and the result should be in the output. So you tell me how many outputs we need here for this logic unit, number of the outputs. Actually, type on the chat box. Number of the output, definitely four. There is no carry, nothing. Whenever you add bit by bit, it's never, I don't know, produce the carry. It's never be a negative number. So you, you do the four by four, definitely you got four. Okay, so it should be one, two, three. So it is S0, S1, S2, and S3. So we forgot something. So though we have eight, we actually need two input, which is tells which of these operations should be run, right? So that means somehow we need to say we need 10 inputs. So that means here I give A1, A0, so depend on what I give here to these input, it's actually do, do one of these two, okay? So you could actually implement this on the breadboard, right? You need to put actually two keys here and eight keys here, right? You give X, give Y. So based off these two keys, if I give zero, zero, you should have the end of these two on the output. If I give one, zero, you should have the bit by bit, or of these two. Now, if I give one zero, you should have here, you should have the XOR of these two. And whenever this is one and one, you just you should see the not of the X on the output, okay? So this is what we want to design, okay? So let us see how we could actually design that, okay? So, let to change the color. So what do you think? How we could design actually this unit? Let actually I yeah we need so what I'm going to do I'm going to how about this I actually put four mox, four by one mox, okay? So this is the first one. This is mox, four by one. This is the first one. This is the second one. Is the mox four by one. This is actually the Again, max four by one. This is the other max four by one. Multiplexer. We talk about that in our previous class. So what what I'm going to put here as a address bar for first. You tell me if I have max four by one. How many inputs actually we have for multiplexer four by one? First thing is the address. So the address, I actually connect here A1, A0. Same thing here, I put A1, A0 here. I put A1, A0 here. Same thing, I put A1, A0 here, okay? So, you tell me how many inputs we have in the multiplexer four by one, how many inputs we have. So it's clear from the name, right? So you should have four, definitely. So this is actually one, this is two, this is three, four. 
Same thing here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, and each of them has one output, right? You already know that. I say, okay, this output is exactly the output of the logic unit that I want. So, I will actually show why. So, for now, I say, okay, these are exactly the output of the unit. So, you tell me, based off this table that we have, okay, based off this table that we have, which is the table of the logic unit, so whenever the A1 and A0 is 0, 0, okay, what, what we should do? We should add X and Y, right? So that means you need to add X0 and Y0. So that means what should be the S0? S0 should be X0 and Y0. So is it, I, is it right I do this? I actually just... Because whenever this is 0, 0, which of these four input connect to the output? The first one, right? So for that reason, I actually put the AND here. What should be the input of these AND? It should be X0, Y0, okay? So that means whenever this is 0, 0, definitely S0 is the AND X0 and Y0, which is actually connect to the S0. So you do the same thing for the others. Whenever again this is 0, 0, what should be S1? You help me. So whenever A1, A0 is 0 and 0, what should be the S1? What should be the S1? The answer is here. What should the S1 should be X1, Y1, right? So that's the reason I connect X1, Y1 here. Similar things, what we should have for S2, S2 should be X2 actually and X2. So for that reason, this is X2, this is Y2, okay? So yeah, definitely. So how about the, this one, the last one, definitely should be X2 and Y2. So does it make sense? So see, Whenever this is 0, 0 in these four max, which actually input connect to the output? The answer is the first one, right? Whenever this is 0, 0, okay? So that means whenever this is 0, 0, the first input in these four max connect to the S, and what they should be based off these tables. So the S0 should be X0 and Y0. That's the reason I put here. S1 should be X1, Y1. S2 should be X2 and Y2 and S2 should be X2. So that's the reason that all these first connected to the end of these four bits, okay? So back to the next one. So whenever you have 0, 1, back to these marks. Whenever A, A1 is 0, A0 is 1. The first question is which of these four connected to the output? So we have one question. So why do we have 2s2? Definitely we shouldn't have 2s2. It is wrong. So this should be 3. Thank you for reminding. So definitely this is S3. Back here we have S3. Yep. So S1, S, S0, S1, S2, S3, and back here. So whenever A0 and A1 is uh, a0 is 1, A1 is 0, you should have OR, right? So first question is whenever the A0 is 1 and A1 is 0, which of these four inputs connected to the output? The answer is number 1, right? This one, that means second one, second one, second one, and the same thing for the last one. So that means this second should be actually basis table, give should be give the bit by bit OR, right? So that's the reason. I'm actually connect the OR gate for the second one and what it should be X0, Y0, that's right. So the same thing for this, I connect to the OR, should be X0, Y0 and similar with the other Two, so these connected to the X 
sorry, to the OR. But so to see, this is actually one and one, sorry. So what should be then should be two and two. And what is the next? So we actually need to correct this to this should be three and three, right? So I correct that. So and this should be again x three y three. Okay. So zero 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 zero, the all of them is one, and here is always two, and here should be actually three. Okay. So this is actually for or right? So no, go to the next. So next is one zero. First, whenever this is one zero, which of these four input connect is one, the third one connect. What we should do based of that should be XOR, right? So that means the similar with the others. So for this time, you need to actually have the XOR gate connected here and which one zero and the zero. Similar to this here, you should connect to the XOR. What is the input X1? Y, okay. Go to the next. Similar with the others, this should be XOR, which is X2, Y2, and this is X2, Y2. So, and the last one, just take a look to the table. So whenever the both is one and one, which of these four connected to the output, the answer is the last one. So what we should do based off this table, whenever this is one and one, you should actually give the not. So you tell me what I need to connect to the fourth pin here in the first one. You want to do actually the not, right? So definitely the answer is a not and x is a zero. So here the same not x1, here is the same not x2, and the last one again same is not of the x2, okay? So that's it. You actually design one logic unit, which is this base of this table. So you could actually test is it works or not. So see, whenever you have zero and zero, based off this table, it should be actually and x and y. So that means s zero should be x zero and y zero. S one should be x one and y one. Similar, the s three should be x three y three. See it's happen or not. So if a zero and a one is zero zero, which Actually, which of these four connect to output? Definitely the first one, right? So what we have in the first one, the first one, this if connect this to this, S0 will be and X0, zero, zero. S1 will be and X1, Y1. S2 will be X2, Y2. And S3 will be and X3 and Y3. So similar with the others, you could actually check all these Cases, I just check the last one too. Whenever it is one and one, it should be takes not back to your design. Whenever this is one and one, which of these four pins connect to the output? Definitely the answer is X0, all right? The last one. The last one connect to the same thing for all others. So that means for the base of this table, S0 should be X0 prime, which is right, the fourth one connected to this one. Here, the fourth one, X1 prime, so that means S1 should be X1 prime, S2 will be X2 prime, and S3 will be actually X2, X2 prime, okay? So that means this is how you could design a four-bit logic unit.